Welcome back. We're getting ready to get the games started live on our amazing looking stage as we are focusing on our first series of the day with BB Team taking on Falcons. This is gonna be a spicy one. It is again one of those drafts, right, where you've got, what, four ranged heroes, one melee. It, a lot of this is gonna be on the Doom to kind of tank the brunt of the attacks coming in from Falcons, whereas Falcons, they've got a lot more beef across their lineup. Yeah, and they've got a lot of team fight on Falcons, which can be a bit of a concern. It's just about the early game oh. aggression, and Skidder... Stepping up with the blood grenade, looking to run him down. The heal comes in, though, Skidder at the right... One more hit! Save, it's enough, it is! First blood for save! It's a free farm across the board for them right now. Yeah, it really is. Everything definitely going to plan for BB Team up. Tokyo. Now though, Toronto Tokyo is found in the trees by Crit. We'll get the setup. See how far up like it does go. Four Sorry. heroes on the job here to try and kill this Wind Ranger. They'll get the setup here from Amar. Quick turn with the shackle shot. TP stunned to come in from BB Team to save. Nice stun. He's in with the stun to hold them back, but it doesn't matter. Crit still in with the bushwhack. Gets the catch. Skinner. They'll get the kill. GPK, TP's in and he's ready to fight back, but Maureen, he's turned up as well. He's in with the burrow strike and the epicenter in on Huge top. damage. GPK, GPK going down slowly, but surely he's out. Toronto took it. Another stun. Crit. Once more with the bushwhack, catching the two of them. Double kill for Maureen. They've got the level six. They have to grab, they're going to get the team wipe! Falcon. The numbers! What a fight! The big team fight damage that can come out from this Falcons lineup, it can accelerate quickly. Yeah, but Sanking in Primal is a ton of early game damage. One we see already. That uh, might get another chance done. to take down Saika there, and with the bow strike, Saika's trying to escape, but Snaking slams him down with a hammer! Falcons. Falcons! They have completely wiped away those early opening, what, seven minutes where BB Team were dominating the lanes. That's completely gone now. It may be tempted to dive the tower. We'll see. He's pretty fragile on the win Falcons, Ranger. Yeah, they're they're gonna go for it. Straight away with the epicenter and the burrow. The bushwhack perfectly timed afterwards. Keep Psycho locked down. Another kill on the Wind Ranger. They might That's go for really holding his game behind. Got the catch. Leaps, they're all on cooldown. Toronto Tokyo's got no way to get away from this. Snay again. Big Breath of Nature. I mean, they may be considering if they can go with the Finger Burst and the Doom. They're going to go for it. Now, the, the tempo of the game slowed down, so they're happy to drop some ults here to kill off the Omni Knight. And they'll get him. Snaking. Slowly but surely go down. Gets a few CS on the way out. There's going to be an instant smoke from Falcons, though. So they've reestablished at least that net worth a bit. There. Yeah, Just from that one yeah. kill, things are at least evened out. He's farming very well. He really game. is. Yeah, top net worth now on the profit. We'll see over towards the mid. Jump's been made over towards Toronto Tokyo, but he's got a leap at the ready. He's out. See if they can continue to play around with save. Anything to put a stop to this? There isn't, so save's also away, but Amar does manage to get the grab on Toronto Tokyo. Meantime, too, Falcons are pressuring mid. They have a pipe already finished up on Amar, so damage for BBT is a bit limited. See Mero. Yep. He's gonna try and trick around oh, the oh, Okay, oh, kind of mean he's still going. They're gonna get him. It's a little sloppy, but a kill's a kill. Don't need the burrow trick save. Let's find the Hex on Amar, but Amar has 2,000 HP with a pipe. Yeah, Amar's like, I'll go in! <laughs> Save, he turns with a quick stun. But yeah, Amar very much showing right now. There's not a lot that he's scared of. Could be problematic for him as well. As Miero shows himself for a second, they're going aggro. He's going to look for the setup, and Maureen's coming in with the follow-up. Mira once again, not going to have anybody around to save him as Falcons pick up another freebie across the map. They're getting so much. Toronto Tokyo. He's pretty deep here. So Very testing deep. the testing the vision of Falcons, then they're, they're gonna see him, they don't quite get the opening. Oh, nope. okay. gonna be off the mark. Marion's still able to blink in and try and body block him off. The Toronto Toko is out at leaps. That will mean that he is still very dead, despite the initial spells missing from Falcons. It doesn't matter at this point. They they can kill these heroes regardless. Just limited moves. BBT. I, 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 it's just it's gonna have to be waiting for BKB. Save. It does feel like it. Save's gonna go for a pick. The opening. There's an Omni here. Backups. Whoa. Okay. Uh oh. That happens to the best of us. I don't think they had him anyway. Um, and now GPK. Uh oh. Well, no, I mean that's what Save will tell you. Is that we weren't gonna get him anyway. Well, that was. Oh no. It's, it, it doesn't look great, folks. Things it's, are crumbling quick, Owen. They are first game out here on the main stage, and it may be getting to BPT. The first five minutes, right, that was them doing one lanes, but nothing's gone their way at all after that. Miro spotted bottom, Amar, he's on him. He is. See if Miro's got a way to play out of this. This time he might be able to escape. But they also lose Toronto Tokyo in the mid. There's just action everywhere. I mean, Miro Doom has comes to out. down the Doom. Snakey's going to be here with a backup. Can they at least kill Amar? No. Nope. They can't. Not even with the three and they have to fall back. This is rough, Owen. Yeah, Amar this knows this well. Rough. He's ready to start throwing some tips out. This game is looking incredibly difficult for BB Team to hold on in. There we go. They're gonna smoke again. See what they can get here. 
with the jump onto the side. Sage's gonna be there with the hex. There's back up for Skid. Here's Skidder. Race down onto the two of them. They'll get the kill. They'll be able to take down Crit. Balrin. He's trying to focus. He's on healing. Bloodstone heal indeed. He's keeping him alive. He's over with the bar. Oh double my kill God. For Balrin. They're gonna get DPK <laughs> as well. Triple kill. They could kill Crit, but I don't think they could kill any other of these heroes on Falcons. Balrin doesn't look as tanky because it's only 2200 HP, but he's got 30 armor. He's got that insane sustain that comes out. They've got an army behind. They're all very durable at this point. And Can they make some sort of jump that catches Falcons by surprise? Save. Leading the way. They'll get the vision set up. The smoke will dispel here. Sage's going to jump straight away. They're going to find Snaking. Can they kill him though? Balrin is in with a counter play. The two mouth. Mira Scott. They're fully committing it onto Snaking, but they can't kill him. He pretty much fully heals. They just can't do the damage. Falcons survive. They'll tap That's out. It. GG That's is over. Called. Falcons dominate game one. This one was not even close, it felt like. You know, we talked up BBT's early game, talked how the sometimes they can get these advantages early on. Uh, that didn't happen, Owen. Well, I sure as heck hope we make it to a game three. Let's hear it, my friends! You want a game three? Ah, that's fantastic. Well, we'll go ahead and throw to the captors and see how this one turns out. So pretty hot for Falcons on the first few waves. See how well GPK is able to do against this pressure. I mean, the plasma field, the static like here. One more tick at the static link, he's gone! First blood from Aurie, won't be able to keep himself alive, but he won't mind a refuel. I think he's suicided. Anyway, indeed, he's happy to go down there. I'm not too sure about the do so, because, yeah, the, the, one, the, <laughs> the chill guys, you know, he saw those TPs <laughs> coming and he's like, you know, it's going to be a 1v1, you know, why are you going to have the extra backup in? I mean, they might still uh, get GPK. GPK. They will. Oh, boy, Owen. Oh, Pre-level six, this is not going to be an easy time for GPK. Hey, Crip. He's looking to start something here. See if, is there any way GPK can keep himself alive under the tower? I don't think so. There's going to be another plasma field coming in in the second as Maori is ready again. with the next nuke to take him out once more. I don't think he can come back to the mid lane, Fog. To the jungle you go. It does feel like he has to. GPK, of course. GPK still not quite six. I need a couple more creep camps to get that six online. So just going to open up opportunities for you know, what Maori wants to do with this Razor. Uh, save. Is there any way for him to break away from this. The cookie, it's oh, not going to get him far enough the wisdom, away. The wisdom ruin it. Oh, Maureen's going straight for us. Santa set for snaking, and it, the TPs are coming in. So BBT might be able to secure it for themselves. Toronto Tokyo, who's going to get the pick up first? He gets it. He does indeed. Toronto Tokyo making sure that that doesn't fall into the hands but Miro. of Falcons. And uh, Maureen just continuing to clean up on the map. This is, you know, for, for someone's debut performance on the main stage at International, it's looking pretty good for Maureen. Supports need to get levels. That's going to be the thing in particular. I think save. Needs to get his level 6 pretty hard line. They're going to get involved mid crit. He should get picked off here. A little bit of something here for GPK as he tries to get this recovery going. Malorine able to grab the rune in time. He's got an amplified damage rune. They're going to try and get in on top of him. He's too fast. That's, uh, yeah, Miro still just level 4 on the Doom. Not really a lot to throw out. How would they get Miro back into the game? Because that's going to be a bit of a rough one, especially since GPK is having a tough one also. And they, they might just be able to kill him here. They've got He's the bushwhack set trouble. up. Arrow to follow up. Miro is going to try and get under the tier one tower. But the leap there from Snaking. He's out of the game and he's just going to continue to get kept at this incredibly low amount of level and farm at this stage of the game. Can they find one of these big kills? Malreen in particular would be the best one that they can find. Because he is approaching a BKB, which would kind of stop their aggression if they do try to save. Should find a quick and easy one here. Snaking will take that. And Skidder just goes blink. You know, he knows he can be really aggressive to get the catch onto GPK. He's got the follow up. If he gets the stun, it's in. very like Dragon Dragon's out. They've got the angle with the arrow. Do they have the burst? The bush strike? Sharp shot? They certainly do. GPK dead again. They're going to lose a lot of HP potentially going for this. Let's see. Oh, let's Neymar. see. Uh, he's already out. They're going to continue to try and jump in. They've got the kisses coming in. The splitter's not hitting. He's alive. Uh, he's able to indeed dodge the splitter and now ready for the turnaround. The stomp's not going to connect either. BB team, they try and make something happen, but it's not going smoothly. They've got Psycho moving over as well. As the they're desperately around, trying to find some sort of kill, but they're in with the jump. The stun onto the three of them there. The cookie comes out. Can they actually get a kill? They'll bring Skeeter down. That's one. Amar is getting low, but they're dying. In return, they've lost two of the BBT. Psycho. Psycho's going for the TP out. They've got nothing to stop it. So Psycho will get away. GPK. GPK. He's been found in the trees. Amar hunts him down. 
<laughs> BB team, they came for him, but the backup, the turnaround was there. They get Skeeter, it's something, but it's costing them three heroes, and they're just not killing him off. I guess that's the thing as well, they just don't have much chain stun to offer up. And Miro again. The angle's there this time round for the arrow to hit. No problem after the Dragon Tail stun. Oh, this is rough. I guess that the good news for BB Team, that at least this time round, that the hero that is very farmed is the Medusa, rather yeah. than an Nature's Prophet. Very and true. If there was a hero out of the two that's more likely to have a chance of carrying a game in a comeback, it's the Medusa. He's going to be found by the Hoof Stomp, and the Dragon Tail's there to follow it up. The Stomp will come out, but not in time to save GPK as Falcons find another. Stay. The, the angle. Whoa! Oh. He's going to get the connection there along the tree line. Amar's got Blink up in a second, closes the gap. As indeed, off the back of that, a lovely connection from Snake King. They'll get themselves another one. Falcons, 14 to 4, 9k lead, and we're just 17 minutes in. It feels very unlikely you're ever going to be able to do anything offensive on your own. I agree. GPK could be in trouble again. The arrow. I hit this combo every single time. They're, it's just, it, it's so easy for them with this type of chain stun, right? I mean, sneaky wards, another kind of sneaky one that Falcons placed that might not also get dewarded. They're keeping tabs of BBT completely. Mark. Gonna try and make the jump on him, but he gets the blade mail off in time, and GPK, GPK? He's pretty much jumped in immediately to his death. They will kill off Amar. They're gonna get Skeeter as well by looking at the kisses. kisses. So BB team, they'll, they'll absolutely trade GPK for that one. They get two big kills in return. He might just have to be the sacrificial player in every single yeah. one of these plays. If they could do that play again, it's gonna be brilliant for them. The problem now is they've split back up, and Psyker is being watched here by Snaking and Malarine. Get him with the jump. Body is blocks. it coming over indeed? They're controlling him. The static link's building up save. Trying to break away with the cookie. But Mallory's ready to dive with the BKB. The man has gone. Psyker's out. Save. Also likely to fall. Mallory is falling very low himself. Woo. But there's just no one else on BB team here to punish it. So whilst they do get that two for one in the mid, it very quickly continues to keep going the way of Falcons. Oh, look at top two. They have that deep ward that we were talking about from earlier. GPK could be in trouble again. They're getting the full surround. GPK. Oh, he spotted him. Amar knows where he is. There's a little bit more mana to play with. In fact, GPK is going to try and get a kill out of this, but the pipe's out from Amar. He can keep crit perfectly safe. GPK cut down once more by Amar with the double edge. If Saika manages to successfully carry this game, it's, it's going to be one of the greatest carry performances of all time. Yep, it does feel like that. It's going to have to be. And they get the jump. They're ready to catch them here as BB Team try and retreat back to the base, but save is caught outside of it. Falcons, they'll take the Tormentor, uh, break the high ground, they yep. get the Aegis, they've got the full Crimson now on top of the pipe on Amar, they're ready to go. The time is ticking, the smoke running out, it's uh, kind hey, of awkward Falcons, now for BB team. They see the mid lane pushing in, the fact that nobody's showing there, they know yep. that there's this move happening. Amar, Amar he's ready to scout this out, they're gonna try and go on him, they're gonna drop the Doom down, see if they can kill off the Centaur, it's a lot of damage, it should be enough, they've got him! Can they get anything more though? Mirror's been jumped in response. Psyker's in trouble. Take him out. Yeah, Psyker taking huge amounts of damage, but they get to chase down onto Snake the and they found a second. Maureen's got to break away, keep his distance. They got a gem. This is pretty big so far. But Toronto Tokyo's going to get caught on the way out. So the gem will return into the hands of Falcons. It's not a bad it's effort not bad at for all. BB Team. They choose to fight into the Aegis, and they do get a two for two trade. Which oh. when you're down as, as far as they are right now in the net worth, you probably take that. As you said, 60 seconds on this Aegis, wants to force as much as possible. Yeah, you see on the courier. They're going to try for the jump mirror, look at the back line. He, 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 he does get the doom out, but indeed the stampede was already there. They just turn and tear through Miro. Oh, no. He's out for 50. That is not the initiation they wanted at all. And the push now, it will continue from Falcon Skeeter, he's going to look for the jump in. He's going to get the Dragon Tail set, they're trying to use the cookie to keep Toronto Tokyo safe, they'll be able to keep him alive. Now GPK in with the turn, gets the Vortex back onto Skeeter. Psyche, has he got enough damage to take him down once they have? That's the Aegis. It's the Aegis gone. Having to do this 4 versus 5 though, BB Team, still 30 seconds without Miro, and even when he's up, they don't have the Doom. They still have the other ults though, Stone Gaze plus Kisses plus ET Splitter is at the ready, Falcons. They will respect it. Malrin, Refresher has been purchased, so... Insane amount of damage now on this Razor. Okay, okay. Jump, in, jump on okay. two. Now we get the Vortex on the two. They can see the Vortex in with a jump. The Drag Tail stuns straight away. GPK, GPK, he GPK, he gave me off. He zips away. GPK survives. Psych is stunned though. The arrow connected on him. The Sharpshooter comes in as well. Lotus has been thrown down upon him though. Cooking him out to the side. Mira's going to make the jump in over towards the Razor. Gets the Doom down onto him. Amar leading forward. Psyker trying to stand his ground and fight back. He's doing a lot of damage here on the Medusa. Stone Bring his snakey nice. down low. 
can't stick around any longer though. The BKB's about to wear off. He's running low on mana. Ogre Seal totems away. Psycho. Falcons, they're gonna look to certainly chase this. The Plasma Field won't catch on. And they don't want to throw themselves into the high ground yet. So Psycho will get them space to head back. It's time to get GK. GK. Uh, he's not gonna get the same chance though. He's just to stun into the silence. They've caught it. The cookie he's, he's not dead. gonna save it. The Orchid Bird is he's too out. much. 70 seconds. No buyback on GPK! I, they used absolutely everything there to kill a target. They didn't kill anybody on the side of Falcons. Yeah, still two minutes left on the Aegis for Skeeter. The push coming in once more. Tier 3 down in the mid lane. Skeeter. Well, to lean on to Psyker. They actually used the cookie they on the Illusion. Cookie on the, the, illusion. the force back on to Psyker. We'll keep him at a safe distance from Falcons. That was a risky cookie. Can you imagine if this will be the way that they do it off of a rapier purchase? Or oh, this may just be the end of the game. Or it We're going to find out We'll have to see. The smoke's coming out. They're ready for the setup. Mosquitoes out for the blink. GPK. Done to. He's going to get the opening. He's ready to the race. They're going to lay down the doom as well. Snaking. He gets shredded completely there. But a take down Amar as well. Now they can look over all Farid. And then he yes. to the comeback here. Potential from BB team. As they storm outside of the base, they take out three heroes. They've got a... Falcons might not quite expect. They saw the ward placed in their base. They have a sentry down, so they saw that Falcons were sneaking. They're going to try and jump Maori. They're in straight away. They're going to do down onto him. Maori is getting shredded. The Amar car comes in with the car. He's ready to wheel Maori back out to safety. Amar with the Aghanim save. Now they're ready for the turn here, Falcons. They go straight towards Miro. They take down the Doom of Psyker. He'll take Snaking out in Miro, return. Miro spent his gold. They're going straight for them now with the Stampede. They're ready to get back in onto them. Skira gets him with the jump to drag down the cookie. Gets Psyker off to the high ground. They'll be able to tear Psyker the away. Field. Back to safety. GPK pops the BKB. The ball lightning back up to the high ground. And the cause survive the two of them. It's just Miro that's out for 55. Amar. Oh, well, he found him. Oh, and he's up with the stun. stun. They got the two supports. And there's nobody to get Toronto Tokyo out of this. Toronto Tokyo's gone. Psyker's going to try and fight back. GPK's in with the zip. He's going to lose. Get the ground. Get the two. vortex onto the two of them. Jump forward as well from Miro. They're taking crit out. The Media card again. comes in. But Miro is safe. They're ready to continue chasing Amar. Trying to drag Marine out of the fight and will succeed. Lots of buybacks used. The supports have to be careful. The arrow will scout. Stone Gaze is up. Psyka in the front lines. They're going to get the jump on him. Dragon Tail, little blood for then you back at the wall. Next comes in, but Psyka's fully low. Can he get the snake out? The man has gone. Psyka's He's in, in trouble. trouble. He wants the BKB, tries to stand his ground. Starts to attack back over towards Amar. The damage is still, still alive. still alive. He's surviving. They'll force out to the side. Turn out towards Kina. He's BKB. still alive. They're going to get four. It's snaking against the world, and he's not going to succeed. Oh, my Triple goodness. For Psyka, BB team. They're turning the game around, Fog. He's, he was out of mana he so was. early in the fight, but he's able to stand the ground. And these long, you know, these long respawns, Doom's coming back up. Everything's coming back up for BBT. You couldn't bring down this Medusa once, and now versus Aegis, the gold lead has gone to zero. With this Aegis, I mean, They've we saw how something. much they struggled to take him down once in a team fight. He's high fiving him. Gonna get the jump again. It's a good link. And the static link. That it's should a be big the Aegis link. gone. Uh -oh. But you've got to imagine this was part of the plan because they just presented the Medusa up. Let's see what the back of his here from EBT. They get the jump. The stun. stun is there immediately. Hold the two of them. They'll try and cook a Psycho out of the side. Psycho's going the side. down. The rapier uh -oh. hits the deck. Falcons now defend and they're ready to kill off more. They look towards save. Tried to hide with the glimmer, but they found him as well. Uh oh. BBT. And that's a rapier. Wait, they give it a snaking. Oh? <laughs> I mean, he's the one with the satanic. They're going to get back to being very, very hard for yeah. BBT. Especially because now even snaking with a rapier, his damage is also pretty absurd. Imagine having that much foresight. That'd be pretty impressive. Skitter, the final racks. There's no glyph. You got to go soon, BBT. Uh, GPK a little slow with the jump there. They get the range racks, the melee racks, they're out. Smoke up, Miro. Oh, Ninja Gear. Get the jump. They're going to throw the dude down. I mean, it's not a bad target. They get rid of Amar. They get rid of his workhorse car. There's no save. I mean, if Snay has to be cautious with his positioning, too, on this Mirana, he is very important in this game. If he gives up a rapier, too, the game could just swing back and forth constantly. This. They know that BB team is likely to be looking for this sort of play. It's deep breaths from both sides here. It's patience. The jump. They're going to get the Vortex opening in straight away over Horskita. They're going to live to burst through the Dragon Knight. They've done so. He's out the once. Now they turn the attention over to Amar. But Miro found the Doom target. Amar had to back off. Uh, just he's in. trying to push on forward with the Earth Spirit. Catching him. Mario trying to heal up here with the Satanic. Is it going to be enough to keep it alive against the five of them? It looks pretty good. He, they can't quite bring Mario down. They've got Sack to stop back it He's been caught by the Blood Thunder. Is there anyone to break him out of this? They're going to try and get him back up the high ground, but they can't. He's down for the two. Right catches him. He's out for two minutes. No buyback available on Psyker. This could be it for Falcons. They're pushing on. That was the fight that they were looking for. Another catch. 20 seconds until Psyker can buy back. It's on cooldown. He has the money. 
Can they last 20 more seconds? GPK trying to buy them time in with the Vortex onto the two of them, but Marion and Skinner, they're, ending. they're looking to close it up. The fortification's there. Seven seconds until Psyker is back. Can they push them off? I mean, with these two rapiers now on Falcon side, I think they push fast. Mirrors in with the Doom. GPK trying to lead, but Amaz in with a save. He's going to get Skinner into the car. The throne's done. But he allows Skinner to keep hitting the H and close the game up with an interruption. GG is called. Falcons, they'll do it 2 0, knocking BB Team out once again. Oh. This was one of the better recoveries I've seen from BBT playing versus Falcons throughout this year, but it's still. It wasn't it didn't enough. Matter.